Unlike Stanley Kubrick's other films like Clockwork Orange and Doctor Strangelove that rely heavily on dialogue, 2001 Space Odyssey is but an editing and visual effect masterpiece. The style is nothing but modern. The plot is somewhat linear but creates the same experience as a movie like Tarantino's Pulp Fiction. The plot of Pulp Fiction is completely non-linear but like Space Odyssey, facts are kept from the viewer until the very end. Looking at Movies Edition 4 defines a jump cut as two sequential shots of the same subject taken from camera positions that hardly vary. The famous jump cut that was made popular by Jean-Luc Goddard's Breathless. This form of editing breaks time and space, therefore creating a non-linear feel. The famous scene from Space Odyssey where the gorilla throws the bone into the air, followed by a jump cut to the spacecraft millions of years later, is breathtaking. This type of technique lets the editing tell the story. This film's lack of dialogue makes this an environmentally heavy film. What that means is that the story relies heavily on the visual effects and the editing. The visual effects are as seamless as they are now. Kubrick throws you into this environment that completely consumes the user, an environment that is so visually stunning and a story that is so easy to follow. Kubrick says it the best. A film is, or should be, more like music than like fiction. It should be a progression of moods and feelings. The theme, what's behind the emotion, the meaning, all that comes later. These thoughts came through in this visual masterpiece.